You're listening to Menopause Natural Solutions, episode number 24, Cramps, Spasms and Muscle Health in Menopause. Natural Solutions, your podcast for all things perimenopause and menopause related. Stay tuned as naturopath Jennifer Harrington explains how to use natural therapies for your ultimate health and happiness. And welcome back to another episode. But before I get started, I wanted to talk to you quickly about self-care. Now, my life has become quite busy and I've swapped my long jogs, walks around the bay for short walks around the bay. And today I changed that. I I grabbed my dog and we went for a 90-minute walk around the bay, which is what we used to do a couple of times a week. And we just haven't had time for it. And I have to tell you, the difference is is immense. The, the level of health and happiness it is something that I need to prioritize for me because the short little walk around the bay, yes, we're getting out, we're getting exercise, getting sunshine, is not long enough. Just by having that longer stretch, getting some fresh air, some vitamin D, um, just filled my soul with joy. So I wanted to, to take a quick moment today and just say, guys, what are you doing for self-care and what has maybe been reduced or taken out of your current schedule just because it's the end of year and life is getting busy? So rant over. <laughs> Hopefully you are all out there taking care of yourself. But just in case, you know, little timely reminders every now and then, don't go astray. And I can't get started today's episode without thanking a few people. So we had two new podcast reviews this week. Thank you so much. So Becky1519 says, um, empathetic and realistic. I enjoy her empathy, but no nonsense approach to things. Accept changes, but sometimes we can make those changes easier and in a healthier way. Thank you for your hard work and research. And thank you, Becky1519, for your review. It means the world to me. And also, Kajiki says, I enjoy Jen's podcast. She researches and is very knowledgeable in regards to female issues. She has a very caring way of sharing information. Thank you and look forward to all the upcoming podcasts you will have. So guys, thank you so, so much for those reviews and to everyone who's put in a review in the past. I really, really appreciate it and I read all of them. And I also want to say to all the other women that have emailed me in this last week to say, we want to write a review, but we don't know how. So I found a wonderful article that talks about how you can rate and review your favorite podcast. And I'm going to put that in my show notes. So if you can't find it or if you're having any struggles, please email me. I'd be more than happy to help you because all your wonderful positive reviews help other women in need find this podcast. So the more the merrier I say, bring it on. But thank you. I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. But guys, let's get started with today's content. So today's topic is cramps, spasms and muscle health. And the reason why this topic came up today is because of my Facebook group. So guys, if you if you are on Facebook and you'd like to join my group, just head on over, answer three quick questions and um, I'll uh, get it approved and you can come and join our group. So last week on the group, I put a question out and that was, what are some of the strangest symptoms that you've experienced during your menopausal transition? And I know there's lots of them out there like crawling skin, burning tongue, tingling, all sorts of things. And one of the, one of the symptoms that we discussed were cramping toes, that those crazy leg cramps, toe cramps. And I thought, hmm, this is actually 
really good topic to discuss with you today because I don't know about you but I have experienced some of these toe curling cramps and they are the worst. Uh, They may not last for long but they certainly know how to uh, produce pain. So anyway let's get into today's topic and that as I mentioned was cramps, spasms, twitching, any sort of issues to do with muscular health. Before we move into general muscles I wanted to actually talk to you about reproductive cramping. So I know this is menopause natural solutions. Some of you are through the transition and are no longer menstruating. So just tune out for 30 seconds. But if you're still in the transition, if you're in the perimenopausal group and you are still menstruating, you may find that your cramps are actually increasing with menstruation at this time. And this is potentially due to the increased production of prostaglandins. So prostaglandins produce produce inflammation, pain, muscle contraction, but they also produce blood vessel constriction and blood clotting. So it's how our blood flow stops. Prostaglandin production increases at this point due to inadequate progesterone to balance out our estrogen. So as we've discussed in previous episodes, um, during the perimenopausal transition, you stop ovulating every month. And it's that act of ovulation that produces your progesterone in the second half of your cycle. So if you don't have adequate amount of progesterone, we have what we call a relative estrogen dominance. And when we are in an estrogen dominant state, our body produces increased prostaglandins. So therefore, it's in a pro-inflammatory state. And this can... Uh, All women can experience increased cramps, menstrual cramps, headaches, inflammation and pain at this time. So if this is you, an anti-inflammatory treatment plan and an estrogen modulating treatment plan is needed. So you may remember that some of my favorite estrogen modulating strategies are things like broccoli sprouts. I can't speak today. (laughs) Broccoli sprouts, dim and calcium to glucurate. And some of my favorite anti-inflammatory strategies include things like turmeric, ginger, magnesium. Yes, it wouldn't be an episode without me talking about magnesium, but we will talk further about magnesium later on in the episode when we talk about general um, muscular health. And also fish oil. Fish oil is very anti-inflammatory. So when we're looking at general muscular health, We have about 650 muscles in our body and we need them to do anything and everything. There will be no smiling, chewing, breathing, beating heart, sitting up, walking, etc. without orchestrating the the stimulation of several muscles at once. Muscles constantly work by contracting and relaxing, sometimes consciously, other times unconsciously. And they need to be properly fueled for optimal function. So your body uses calcium for muscle contraction and magnesium for muscle relaxation. And most muscular issues are caused by the muscle's inability to relax, such as a cramp or a twitch or a spasm. Therefore, magnesium is one of the most useful minerals for happy muscles as magnesium is a muscle relaxant. Told you I would not have an episode (laughs) without talking about the joys of my favorite mineral in the world, magnesium. But potassium and sodium are two other minerals and also essential electrolytes for muscular health. They help regulate the flow of your muscular contraction. It's time to seriously consider if you have adequate salt in your diet. What? I hear you say adequate salt. Most women think they should be on a low salt diet and they have actively been avoiding salt. I want to challenge you to rethink this. Dr. James D. Nicolantione, and I will apologize because I know I have pronounced your name incorrectly. He is a leading cardiovascular research scientist. And in his book, The Salt Fix, 
He claims that salt protects us against a host of elements, including internal starvation, insulin resistance, diabetes, heart disease, and I would include muscle cramps. So go grab the book, give it a read, and see whether you've got adequate salt in your diet. I'm going to put the disclaimer in here that it needs to be a quality salt. And um, current research is looking at Celtic sea salt, natural Celtic sea salt, being the most unprocessed and healthy, healthiest of the salts. Um, all right, let's move on. So the next nutrient I want to discuss with you is coenzyme Q10, which is also known as ubiquinone. Or the activated version of coenzyme Q10 is known as ubiquinol. So I tend to use ubiquinol more often, but um, it's part of the CoQ10 family. And this nutrient is for muscular weakness or muscle fatigue. And it's especially, well, it's really something to consider if you're on any heart medication. So any medications, especially statin-based ones, reduce your body's CoQ10 levels, which results in muscle issues, lower energy levels. CoQ10 is protective against muscular damage by reducing oxidative damage from within the muscle itself. So something uh, for you to think about. So being iron deficient can also encourage the development of painful cramps and iron deficient muscles don't have the energy to function and there is a reduction in both strength and stamina of the muscle. So if you're postmenopausal, this is probably not the reason for your cramps. If you are perimenopausal, having um, heavy periods, frequent periods, more than likely your painful cramps are iron related. But go and get a blood test and, and find out for sure. And the last uh, nutrient I'm going to talk about is actually a vitamin, and that is vitamin D, because vitamin D deficiency is also linked in with muscle pain and weakness. When we're looking at lifestyle tips, actually this is also a dietary tip, I'm going to tell you to drink plenty of water. Muscle cramps can be a sign of dehydration, but I'm going to add to consider putting an electrolyte into your water to increase the amount of sodium, potassium, calcium, magnesium, your essential electrolytes, uh, to also help with, with muscle health. Consider having an Epsom salt bath. Epsom salts contain, um, or naturally contain magnesium, so, so that can be beneficial. You might like to try rubbing magnesium cream or magnesium oil directly onto your painful muscles. I want to encourage you to stretch Exercise like yoga, Pilates, or even just stretch classes are a fabulous idea to optimize muscle health. Get regular massages. I'm going to add to this any sort of physical therapy, whether it's chiropractic, whether it's osteopathy, physiotherapy, acupuncture. These are all help structurally. Um, so go and who doesn't enjoy a good massage? I really love getting my acupuncture as well and I feel great after my chiropractic adjustments. And finally, you might want to consider heat. Things like adding a hot water bottle directly over uh, the painful muscles. Really good for period cramps, but you can also use them for leg cramps, achy, achy shoulders, tight back muscles, these kind of things. So guys, I hope you have found that useful. Um, I know that it certainly helped me in the past when I've had cramps and with my cramps I have definitely found the link between being stressed, potentially burning my, my, my magnesium too fast and magnesium has been the answer for me. But you're not me, you're you. You might find that it's iron deficiency, you might find that it's salt deficiency or vitamin D deficiency or coenzyme Q10 deficiency, or even potassium. I really think of potassium is like a personal trainer for magnesium. It kicks it in the butt and gets it working more efficiently. Anyway, you've got lots of different hints and tips there, things for you to try. 
please let me know what works for you. And if you're not on my Facebook group, head on over. I'd I'd love to um, carry on the conversation with you there. Well, that's it for me this week. Have a wonderful week and I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye. Natural Solutions. If you have enjoyed today's podcast, please subscribe, like and share. The information is provided as a guide and is not designed to replace medical advice.